Shalom Yasharala, peace Israel. First and foremost, I want to send our praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wakar Kadash Barakatai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel. This is your boy Azar coming at you with another lesson from the GMS Miami camp. Today's lesson is going to be about who is Yahweh Shai. Who is Yahweh Shai? I'm not going to really get too, too deep into it. Um, I'm going to make it edifying. Lord willing, make this edifying. And, you know, not spend too much time. But, you know, hey, man. As long as brothers, brothers get edified off of this lesson, that's all that matters. All right? So let's go into it. All right? Who is Yahweh Shai? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 5, verse 5. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the, the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. So it says in this verse, like, Yahweh Shai came from the tribe of Judah. Okay, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah and the root of David. So he came from the bloodline of David, King David. Okay, so that's a good base to start off with, foundation to start off with. Yahweh Shai sprang out of the, from the tribe of Judah, and he came from the bloodline of David, the root of David. Okay, all right, let's go to, um, hmm, let's go to uh, Revelation 1 and 14. All right, Revelation 1 and 14. Okay. Basically, this here gives a description how Yahweh Shah looked. Okay. Uh, his, his, his head and his hairs were like wool, as white as snow. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Okay. So he, he had like woolly hair. Okay. His hair was like white as snow. Okay, and what other nationality has woolly hair like wool and uh, a hair like wool? Okay, that's that's the kicker right there. Okay, his eyes were as flame of fire. That's because you know he was angry at uh, because he because of his persecution and also his he drunk a lot of wine, you know. Okay. So that's telling you that he was a so-called black man. All right. So-called black man. He, he came from the tribe of Judah, but, you know, Esau gave us these names like black, red and all that stuff. But I'm just trying to keep it simple. So he was a dark skinned man. OK, he was a dark skinned man. All right. Um, let's go to the book of Matthew. First chapter. Alright, the book of Matthew, first chapter. First chapter starting at the 21st verse. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, for he shall save his people from their sins. So he is our Savior. He is our deliverer because he saved us from our sins. Okay. That's who Yahweh Shah is also. Okay. So he was a so-called black man. He, he, he was from the tribe of Judah. And he, he came from the, uh, uh, the root of David. Okay. And we know that he was, um, he was our deliverer. Okay. He was the one, he is the one that saved us from our sins. It says it right here in Matthew 21. And um uh chapter Matthew uh first Matthew first chapter 21st verse and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shah Hamashiach for he shall save his people his people who are his people 
who are his people okay his people are uh, the so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans who are the Hebrew Israelites all right from their sins okay so he's a deliverer of his people okay that he made he delivered us from our sins who sins not the heathen okay the Hebrew Israelites the so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans the 12 tribes of Israel okay all right uh, let's go to um, the book of uh, let's go to the book of Revelation 19 the book of Revelation 19 and 16 okay and he hath on his vesture on his thigh a name written king of kings king of kings lords of lords so he is the king of kings and also lords of lords okay he is the kings of ki king of kings and lord of lords when Yahweh Shah comes back man to claim his he elect he's gonna be kings he's gonna be our king you know he's king of kings and lord of lords man he's he's hey Yahweh put him in charge all right all right let's go to the book of uh uh let's see here um John the book of John first chapter let me see John 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 first chapter and 29th verse Okay. The next day, John seeth Yahweh Shahamashiach coming unto him and saith, Behold, the Lamb of Yahweh which taketh away the sin of the world. Okay. See, he was that the he was he was the um, the Lamb, that sacrificial Lamb, man, that took away the sins of, of the world. How did he do that? By dying on the cross, by taking that. You know, by dying on the cross, man. You know? So he is that sacrificial lamb that took away the sins of our world. I mean, the sins of the world. Okay? But which world that he's talking about? The the world of Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel. The so-called Black Hispanics, the Native Americans, and also the confusion of faces. Okay? Uh, let's go to the book of Matthew. Okay, the book of Matthew. 25th chapter. And the 31st verse. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. So he's also what the son of man all right he's also the son of man okay um and now okay i got one more bible verse to bring out now you christians are gonna love this verse because y'all always use this verse right here you know what i mean y'all always use this verse right here when you come to camp so let me get it out right quick. John. I just left there. John. Okay. And you brothers know where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> all right. This is for all you Christians out there, okay? John 3.16. For Yahweh so loved the world that he begave his only begotten son... That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Life. 
Okay. For Yahweh sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. So Yahweh Shah is our savior. He Yahweh sent him so that he may so that uh Yahweh sent Yahweh Shah so that he may save the world. Who is the world? It, which world is he talking about? The twelve tribes of Israel. Okay? The so called blast Hispanics, Native Americans, and also confusion of faces. And this also this um John three sixteen and seventeen also states that he is the son of Yahweh. Okay? He is also the son of Yahweh. Alright. Alright, Akim. Well, I said I was gonna make it short and sweet, but to the point, and uh, I got some points out. And uh, I give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash, Barakatai. Till next time, brothers. Shalom.